welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day, this is Teacher I, and in today's video, I am going to share with you about circulatory system. This is a system that works to keep the blood moving throughout all parts of the body. And uh, the parts of the circulatory system is number one, we have heart, number two, blood, and number three, blood vessel. So let's discuss them one at a time. The heart, it is the main organ of the circulatory system and it acts like a pump or a, that in supplying the power that keeps the blood moving. And it lies in the center of the chest. It's here, so in this part, between the lungs. Your fist is, that's how big is your heart. So we have here the parts of the heart. So I just put there first the uh, six parts of the heart so we have there the right atrium right ventricle the le left atrium the left ventricle the pulmonary artery and the aorta for us to make it easier to um, name the parts of the heart so let's have them let's divide them first into two i divided our heart into two the right and the left so in the right, so we have there the right atrium and the right ventricle. In the left, we have there the left atrium and the left ventricle. And this right chamber of the heart and the left chamber of the heart, we're going to divide them into two parts as well. So we have the upper chamber as the right atrium and the lower chamber as the right ventricle. While on the left part, we have the upper part as the left atrium and the lower part as the left ventricle for us to easily memorize and not be um have difficulty which one come first so always remember a comes before the v so it means that atrium will go first before the ventricle so that's why we have the upper atrium the lower ventricle after we name them as the as to right and left, the upper and the lower chamber. So now we already have there the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. So now what are the valve that uh, connects them? Or we're going now to name the valve. So we have the valve between the right atrium and right ventricle. So we name them as tricuspid valve. That valve has three heads. That's why it is called tricuspid valve. Okay. So don't be confused. Okay, right atrium has, starts with R. And the tricuspid valve has R also in the TRI. So tri. So it means it's in the right part. Again, I repeat. Um, between the right atrium and the right ventricle, it has the tricuspid valve okay. if you could see there uh, between the right ventricle and between and pulmonary artery there's another valve there it is called the pulmonary valve okay later i'll discuss to you what is the use of this valve in the in this part of our heart okay so we're just tracing the the parts of them so after that, we could also see valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle. We call this as bicuspid valve. So we call that bicuspid valve the one in a circle, the one encircled with the uh, red color. So that's the bicuspid valve because it's it has two heads only unlike the tricuspid valve is it has three heads okay and we have another valve going to our aorta so the aorta is that the upper part 
you can see there the circle I encircled it already so there is also a valve going to our aorta so we call that valve between the left ventricle and our aorta we call this the aortic valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle we have there the tricuspid valve and then we have between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery we have there the uh, pulmonary valve between, between the left atrium and the left ventricle we have there the bicuspid valve and we have also the valve going to our aorta as the aortic valve now what is this two tube the one with the black lines of okay. the upper tube is the svc or the or the superior vena cava and the in the lower part is the inferior vena cava okay so what is the function of this part okay and why is it the right atrium and the right ventricle is in and the pulmonary artery is in blue and why is it the left atrium the left ventricle and the aorta is in red Okay, so we're now going to trace the flow of the blood in our heart. So, the unoxygenated blood or the oxygen-poor blood will go inside the heart via the SVC or the IVC. Okay, the blood coming from our upper part of the body will go inside our heart via this superior vena cava and the blood coming from our lower part of the body will go in our heart via the inferior vena cava and once the unoxygenated blood uh, fill in the right atrium the tricuspid bulb will now open to let the unoxygenated blood or oxygen poor blood go to the right ventricle once the right ventricle is already full of this unoxygenated or oxygen poor blood the valve will automatically close because okay and then what will happen to the blood in the right ventricle it will now go to our pulmonary artery the pulmonary valve will open to give way to the blood to go to the pulmonary artery now unoxygenated blood or or oxygen poor blood in the pulmonary artery it will go to our lungs and it will um and in our lungs they are going to exchange the unoxygenated blood or oxygen poor blood into oxygenated blood okay later i will tell you where in the part of the heart it will happen and then after that the oxygenated blood that's why it's already in red the left atrium and the left ventricle it's already red because the oxygenated blood will go inside the heart via the left atrium and once the left atrium is already full the bicuspid bulb will open to give way to the blood to to pass through the left ventricle okay and then once the left ventricle is already full the bulb will close and the blood will be pumped going to our big bulb will open and then going to our aorta and then they are going to distribute to all parts of our body the oxygenated blood the part purpose of the valve in each part of the atri in its part of the chamber is to prevent the blood in going back okay that's the reason why there's a valve so that the blood will not go back to the 
other chamber. They will only have a, a one flow, one direction flow. Okay, that's the reason. Now, uh, to discuss the parts and function of this right atrium, right ventricle, and so on, is what I already discussed within the flow. But to make it more easier to, for you to digest, let's go. The right atrium, it's the oxygen poor blood that goes in that chamber, coming from the different parts of the body via the superior and the uh, inferior vena cava. And the right ventricle, once the right atrium contracts, the oxygen poor blood will flow into the right ventricle. It means the right atrium is already full. That's why it will contract. And after that, the blood will go to the uh, pulmonary artery. In pul uh, pulmonary artery, what kind of blood? It's oxygen-poor blood or unoxygenated blood from the right ventricle is pumped to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. And after that, there will be an exchange of gases inside the lungs. So just I put there and close in parentheses because lungs is not a part of the circulatory system. Lungs is under the, under the respiratory system, not in circulatory. So inside the lungs, oxygen moves to the blood as carbon dioxide leaves. And exchange of gases will happen in the alveoli or alveoli sac there. So after that, this oxygen, uh, oxygenated blood will go back to our heart via the left atrium. Okay, so oxygen-rich blood or oxygenated blood from the lungs will enter the left atrium and it will go. So once the left atrium contracts, the oxygen-rich blood will flow into the left ventricle. And after that, the aorta, okay, so the blood is pumped to the rest of the body via the aorta. Okay, so that's how their function and that's how the flow of the blood happen in our heart. And remember that the aorta is the body's widest artery, okay? Why it's the widest artery? Because it carries the oxygenated blood to be supplied to all parts of the body. Well, I do hope you learned from this lesson of mine. This is Teacher I saying thank you for watching and God bless everyone. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel is Teacher IR. And thank you so much. And kids, always remember to study and always listen to your teacher when your teacher is discussing something so you would learn more and i know it's quite difficult for nowadays to uh, to focus because it's an online classes and always pray pray uh, always pray ask for guidance ask for wisdom coming from god so you will understand more of the lesson and always remember to follow obey and honor your parents that's all and thank you so much. Bye-bye.